Hi guys, it's about 20 to 10 at night, Tuesday the 20th of June. We're in my conservatory just looking at my solar light bulbs. These come from Poundland. They're nicely alight. Over there in the window. If you can see that's the clock that I put the insides from one of those lights into the clock so those lights come on or those LEDs come on so we can tell the time and then over here we got two more of those bulbs that are all right but we got one here which is a different make. I think it did come from Poundland, but from a bit before the other ones were available. It was either Poundland or Pound World. Anyway, that one's not working. So I'm gonna take it apart and see if we can figure out why not. Well, I might as well do a comparison while we're at it. The bigger one is the current Poundland range. This one, I think, was last year's range or it may have come from Pound World or 99p store and this is the only one that's actually been outdoors all of my current Poundland range have only ever been indoors in the conservatory here so they pick up the sunlight indoors and they work fine Come on. Can't really see with the light right next to us. Oh, there we are. We can just about see that one's on. So if we take them apart, this one, just a single LED, battery, and wires go down inside. Two wires go to the solar panel, and two wires go to that on off switch on the side there and in this one we've got a small string of LEDs one two three four LEDs and the circuit board is in there there we go Looks very similar. Yeah. This has got the on off switches directly on board under there. Or is this one the on off switch? disappears under there because this is only running the one LED whereas this one that wire there and that wire there go away to this little string so why isn't this one working right it looks to me like it's a problem with the switch if I jiggle around in there did suddenly get 1.5 volts out of it. Can't do it again now. So that's logical, we're getting power in from the solar panel. It does look to me like it's just a problem with that switch which could be as simple as it's got water in it when it was outdoors. What I've actually done is given up with that switch because we can't get to it. It's encapsulated in there in resin or glue or something. So we can't get it out. Wiggling it around, I was able to 
get some power flowing. So what I've actually done is I've just desoldered the switch, which was those white wires, and put a solder bridge straight across where those white wires or the switch was, so it's now permanently switched on. While I was at it, I've resoldered the wires that go down to the solar cell or panel or whatever you want to call it. So if I hold it up to the halogen light for a little while to get a bit of charge into it. And then if I switch it off, you will get a little burst of the blue light. Only very brief because the battery's not being fully charged. There. So what I'll do now is put it back together. I might even cut those wires off, those white ones, because they're serving no purpose whatsoever now. And see if it works. It's still possible that the little battery's not holding charge, in which case I might have to change it out. I've got a couple more in this box from solar lights that I've taken apart. So we'll find out. We'll leave it tomorrow to charge up, see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we'll have to change the battery. So at the moment, job done. Right, I'll hang it back up again and we'll have a look tomorrow.